last Friday. She was last seen at 9.30 in the morning at her home in Markham. She last spoke to family at 11 a.m. that morning and her vehicle was lo later located in the city of Toronto in the afternoon. She's not been seen since. Her vehicle is a white Mercedes GLE 450 SUV. Since then, our investigators have been piecing together a timeline of her whereabouts and making every effort to locate her. As with any investigation, we are actively searching any and all leads as they become available. And through investigation, we have identified this area as one of the locations that Moy was due to visit on Friday. As a result, we have deployed all available resources to thoroughly conduct a search for any evidence that Moy was here or her, to further her whereabouts. As you can see, it's a very large area to cover. We have deployed K-9, our marine unit, our IDENT has been here, Air 2, and our search and rescue team are currently on the ground searching for any and all evidence that may lead us to any information of Ms. Moy's whereabouts. Anyone with any information is urged to contact police or reach out anonymously through Crime Stoppers. We are seeking witnesses or anyone who may have any information at any to what her whereabouts and if you recognize her vehicle that was last seen in Toronto on Friday or if you have any information about her vehicle being here or her being here then please reach out to us where any information is very valuable to our investigators and is another step in our search for her. In any investigation that is deemed suspicious there will be details obviously the police cannot disclose uh, to, in order to protect the integrity of an investigation. The details we do make public is information that we believe the public may be able to assist us with. And as I said, that would be the location where her vehicle was last seen, and this location as well, where we, we don't know if she was here, but we believe that this was one of the places she was due to visit from Friday. Saying that, I will open it up for questions, but as I said, information that I can share is limited in any investigation in order for the integrity of the investigation. So what kind of solution does the guys out here take this conflict to Yeah, so this morning our ground search and rescue team arrived and they've been on the ground since very early this morning. There, This is quite a big property. It's a rural property with a lot of different locations and there's a pond in the back. So there's lots of places to search and therefore we have to be as thorough as we can. Is this a location that uh, she was planning on showing as far as her real estate business was? I believe that that is part of uh, what they'll be looking at. It was a place that she was due to visit. Whether it was a showing or not, I don't know. But you don't know if she actually attended this location? We don't know, no. And that's why we're trying to draw the, as much attention to here as we can. And obviously we want the neighbors to be aware of why we're here because it's rather large police presence. Um, which can be a little daunting in, in a quiet neighborhood. What, was there a time that she was expected up here? Do you know? I don't know that, no. This is an area quite a far distance from where her vehicle was last seen. Can you provide more specifics on the area where the vehicle was found and, and why that, I guess the distance is so far between the two. Why, what is, what's brought us to these well, that, that's part of what we're trying to figure out. Why was her vehicle in Toronto? How did it end up there? Uh, and then she was here. Was her vehicle here? We don't know. And we're hoping that somebody does know and is able to share that information with us. Yeah, we don't have anything that would lead us to believe that there is foul play involved at this time. The very fact that it's out of character for her to not speak to her family uh, on a regular basis. The fact that it's now been five days that she's been missing is enough to cause concern for her family and for police and our, the investigators working this. Um, oh, so did, did you say you, you believe she was here or she was scheduled to come here? Scheduled to come here. We believe that this was one of the places that she was due to visit on Friday. Uh, so I can't confirm whether she was here. And if somebody does have that information, um, please reach out to our investigators as soon as possible. I know you're unable to confirm that there's any connection with the, uh, the Yin Zhang case at this point in the investigation, but is there any international element to the investigation that you guys are obviously looking locally here in a missing person investigation, but are there units also engaging in online type investigation that may have overseas? Our investigation into a missing person, how this began, uh, begins in a very small area and then we work out from there. 
um, working with other services or anything like that, that would be something that we would hold close to the investigation and the investigators would obviously follow any and all leads, wherever that may take them. I'm not, I'm, I, I hope that we are. I hope that people see this and will call in tips. Marshal Dennis said, when did the police start to search this? I'm sorry? When did the police start to search? So our IDENT unit was here last night. They were doing their investigation inside the house, um, forensically, and then our ground search began early this morning, along with our K-9. As I said, I think our Marine unit is, is, on, is on their way, or they have been here already. Um, our air support unit was here this morning when I arrived, um, and they have been, they have done their search, uh, and now our search and rescue teams have been very thoroughly going back and forth. It's, it's a very large area that they need to cover. It's a hot day. Um, they've got a big job to do. Yeah, as you mentioned, it's a, it's a big property. How long do you think uh, you know, the search could take that way? It depends. It depends on whether we find any any kind of evidence that may lead us to believe that she's here or that she was here, uh, and then that obviously extends the amount of time that we spend here to then follow that. So we go wherever the evidence leads us, and for now, uh, we're continuing our ground search for any evidence of Miss Moore. Did YRP locate her phone? Did Did YRP locate her cell phone? Those are all the investigative details. That we need. I don't, know that, I don't know a lot about this property. I do know that it is farmland and there are quite a number of uh, exterior buildings as well as a, a water pond in the back. Um, there's a lot of long grass and overgrown areas. It, it's an extensive search and requires a lot of like human power to, 